A pleasant morning, ladies and gentlemen, and sa lahat po ng nanonood sa atin ngayon, we would like to welcome you all to this online event to witness the signing of the Integrity Pledge, the Pledge of Cooperation, and Oath of Honesty. First, may we request everyone to keep your microphones muted at all times. Sorry. This program is a result of the partnership between the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. This is truly a testament to our leaders' desire to follow through on their mandate and participate further in working for a more efficient and government free from corruption. Before we move further into our program, let us first seek the guidance of our Lord and pay due respect to our flag. Thus, we invite everyone for a short prayer to be followed by the singing of the national anthem. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of good health and peace that we have enjoyed for so many years. As we find ourselves in this time of crisis today, we ask for your divine intervention and mercy to be upon each of us. Come and guide the minds of those working to discover a treatment to the COVID-19 virus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and clarity of mind, so that all peoples will be free from the threat of this ailment. We also pray for the healthcare workers that are standing in the front line of this battle. Father, we thank you for their hearts of service putting the needs of society before their own, generously responding to the cry of your people. We ask that you will grant them strength and protection as they give of themselves in selfless service. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet. Father, we also surrender to you, all those who have been afflicted with the virus. Grant them your healing grace, merciful Father, so that they may recover swiftly and continue to be witnesses of your love in their lives. Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession in this great time of need. Cover each of us with your blue mantle of protection so that we may be preserved in good health to continue to glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. My name is JD George, together with my co-host, Attorney Nikki Makalino. And on behalf of my partner, we thank you for attending this online event. To start this momentous event and to give her opening message, please welcome our PACC Commissioner, Attorney Yvette C. Contacto. Thank you, sir. Mga kasamahan kong kawani ng pama sa pamahalaan, magandang umaga po. If there is one advocacy close to my heart, it is the preservation and conservation of our environment. In a widely noted case on intergenerational responsibility, the Philippine Supreme Court upheld the legal standing and the right of the children to initiate the action on their behalf and on behalf of generations yet unborn on issues such as preservation of the environment and their right to health under a balanced and ecological environment. It is now known in the Philippine and global jurisprudence as the Oposa Doctrine. And this is one of the doctrines that really strikes at the very heart of my spirit. It is an honor, therefore, to welcome the vanguards of our environment in this auspicious occasion, the signing of the manifesto under the PACC's project Kasanga, Tokhang Laban sa Corruption. We therefore welcome the officials from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, led by its dynamic and esteemed secretary, Roy Simatu. Sir, isang masigasig na pagpupugay po sa inyong liderato. Joining him are his undersecretaries, Rodolfo Garcia, Jim Sampulna, Jonas Leones, Juan Miguel Cuna, Annalisa Te, and Head Executive Assistant Gavin Edwahan, Edhawan, as well as all the uh, other uh, officials of and uh, employees of the DNR, welcome. We also have with us this morning representatives and officials of the Anti-Red Tape Authority, led no, uh, by Director General Attorney Jeremiah Belhica, Deputy Director General Attorney Ernesto Perez, Deputy Director General Attorney Eduardo Bringas, Deputy Director General, Brigadier General Carlos Quita. And of course, from the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, our indefatigable Chairman Greco Belhica, Commissioner Rickson Chong, Commissioner Danilo Young, and our Executive Director, Fortunato Guerrero, as well as the uh, lawyers, and staff of the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission. Again, magandang umaga po and welcome to this uh, manifesto signing. Maraming salamat po. Thank you for the warm welcome, Commissioner Yvette. And now for the next part of our program, I'm turning you over to my co-host, Attorney Nikki Makalino. Thank you, JD. Of course, this event would not be complete without the grand architect himself. Let us all watch a short video message from our beloved president, Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Ngayon, corruption pa rin ang problema. Uh, I have uh, made a pledge, if I remember, Two, two sessions, three sessions ago, that I will concentrate the last remaining years of my term fighting corruption. And now, to give us an inspiring message and to present Project Kasanga, 
tokhang laban sa korupsyon, we would like to call our very own PACC Chairman Greco Belica. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. I would like to first acknowledge the presence of my colleagues from the PACC, Commissioner Dixon Chong, Commissioner Yvette Contacto, Commissioner Danilo Yang, and PACC's Executive Director, Attorney General Fortunato Greb. At sa lahat po ng aming mga kasamahan na nilbihan sa PACC at sa Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. In behalf of the President, ang Pangulong Mayor Rodrigo Roa Duterte at ang buong Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission ay aming pinasasalamatan si Secretary Roy Simatu ng DNR sa pagdalo sa seremonya ko. To the Undersecretaries, Assistant Secretaries, Directors, and Senior officer, Officials of the DNR, and to all of you who are present today, we thank you for your support in partnering, partnering with us in the fight against corruption. As stated by the President himself, on numerous occasions, he shall dedicate the remaining years of his term in fighting corruption and eliminating bureaucratic red tape. With this being said, we wish to remind everyone that public office is a public trust. The privilege to work in government has its conditions for continuing employment in accordance with specific laws, rules, and regulations. And I, as PACC chairman, would like to reiterate our commitment to, the pre to President Duterte's campaign in eliminating all forms of graft and corruption and abuse of power in all agencies of government, most especially at this time that our society is more, is more vulnerable to corruption due to the ongoing health and economic crisis. Kaya naman nais ko pong bigyang diin ang importansya ng pagsupil ng katiwalian upang mapoksa ang anumang kalakaran at laganap na korupsyon sa ating lipong. Lalong-lalo na po sa DNI. Sapagkat itinuturing na mayaman ang Pilipinas dahil sa mga natural resources nito. Masagana at yamang tu ang yamang tubig at pati na rin ang yamang lupa. Dahil dito, amin pong inilungsad ang Project Kasangga, Tokhang Laban sa Korupsyon, na naglalayong gawing mas simple at mapabilis ang koordinasyon ng PACC sa lahat ng kagawaran ng ahensya ng pamahalaan at mapahusay at lalong paigtingin ang kampanya ng Administrasyong Duterte kontra korupsyon. Following the directive of the President, the PACC has laid down its roadmap 2022, which includes three major plans of action. P Number one, PACC internal reforms focusing on automation, streamlining of rules, and disposition of cases. Anti-corruption operations and advocacy where we will partner with all departments under Project Kasangga to hang laban sa corruption. The creation of an information and resource management office that will handle the PACC's linkages with all the departments and agencies of the executive branch of government. For this purpose, the PACC shall establish a command center in every government office to help monitor and validate reports. Number three, our legislative agenda and beyond, where PACC will make its study of appropriate legislation, training and processes to reduce 
the incidence of corruption in our government. Before I move on to the specific programs, let me share with you Project Kasanga. Project Kasanga is basically a call to arms. We hope to engage all different sectors of society to join us in the fight against corruption. Under this project is the Tokhang Laban sa Corruption, a campaign led by PACC in cooperation with other agencies in the executive department or executive branch of government to ensure public accountability and good governance, the objectives of which are the following. Engage the active participation of all government officials in the detection and resolution of graft and corruption cases within their agency. Cascade a God-centered anti-corruption advocacy and obtain their oath of honesty. Institute a streamlined system of procedure for the reduction of corruption incidents in their agency. In implementing Tokhang Laban sa Corruption, our main goals include number one, intensification of PACC's campaign against graft and corruption in all levels of government. Number two, increase public awareness, awareness on the objectives, mandates, programs, and accomplishments of the Commission. Number three, encourage people's support and participation by providing them accessible avenue in reporting corrupt and anomalous activities by government officials and employees. Number four, provide meaningful change in the system by reporting high value and high impact cases of corruption to the office of the president. And number five, provide access in the high risk agencies that are prone to corruption by creating an agreement with the agency. All these are geared towards public accountability, fulfillment of the administration's desire for good government. Let me show you videos of the president and Senator Bongo's declaration of support to this project. Magandang araw sa lahat. Ang laban sa korupsyon ay matagal ng kampanya namin ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Kahit noong siya pa ay mayor ng Davao City, nakita na namin kung paano lumulubog ang lipunan kung ang korupsyon ay lagana. Kaya naman kasama ninyo kami ni Pangulong Duterte sa paglulungsad ng tokhang laban sa korupsyon. Project kasangga ng Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, naniniwala kami na hindi uusad ang bansa hanggat laganap ang korupsyon. Dapat linisin na natin ito para naman maibsan ang problema ng ating bansa at matutukan na natin ang ating pag-unlad. Nagpapasalamat rin ako at patuloy ang inyong suporta sa aming kampanya kahit na may kinakaharap tayong krisis dulot ng COVID-19 Buhay pa rin ang ating layunin na iangat ang bansa sa mas magandang kinabukasan. Mabuhay kayo lahat at muli, mas paigtingin pa natin ang ating kampanya laban sa kriminalidad, illegal na droga at korupsyon. Maraming salamat po. I join the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission as it launches Project Kasanga Tokhan Laban sa Corruption. Let me express my full support for this project, which is consistent with my administration's goal of ensuring transparency and accountability in government. I hope this project will encourage all of us in government to set aside our personal interests so that we may instill a culture of decency, integrity, and honesty in public service. I wish you a meaningful event. So let me continue. On the part of the Department, 
of each department of the executive branch of government, we will be soliciting your cooperation in the establishment of command centers and command groups from the national to the lowest of your bureaucracies to be manned by your own designated personnel acting as our deputies and other stakeholders. It will be, it will be the focal office in monitoring, reporting, and resolution of cases of corruption within DNR. Next, PACC will also require an anti-corruption advocacy learning instruction among DNR personnel in coordination with the PACC. And finally, we will ink a manifesto of the pledge of cooperation and oath of honesty, which is the main purpose of our presence here today. We are all witness to this, to this strategic development in the PACC's campaign to expose, neutralize, and deter corruption in government. The signing of the Manifest of Cooperation and Oath of Honesty is a solid testimony of your commitment to get rid of corrupt practices and unscrupulous government workers in the DNR. We trust that your management and supervision in the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Resources shall make our fight against crime and corruption a lot easier as you cleanse your own ranks. PACC has no intention to be your nemesis. We want you to be our partners against crafters. The president expects us to cleanse our own ranks. He warned, however, that should we fail in these expectations, his anti-corruption commission shall do the job for you. He said, either you do it or he will find someone else who can have it done. At this point onwards, anyone engaging in graft, one strike hook tie. We will press all our powers and authority to make sure as instructed by the president that no one gets away with these illegal activities. Inuulit ko po, one strike policy lang po tayo. Kaya kapag ikaw ay sangkot sa katiwalian at aming napatunayan na ikaw ay nangungurakot, mga abuso ng iyong pwesto, Pasensyahan po tayo. Isusumitin namin ang report sa Pangulo at isasampa ang kaso sa kinauukulan po. Aaminin ko po, gaya ng sinabi ng Pangulo, imposible nga po na mawala ang lahat ng turakot at buaya sa lipunan. Ngunit gagawin po namin ang lahat ng aming makakaya upang mabawasan ng husto ang mga manluloko at turak sa gobyerno. Lalo na ngayon ang hihirapan ng ating ekonomiya dahil sa mga na pandemya. Ngunit sa tulong at kooperasyon po ninyong lahat, tiyak na mapupuksa natin ang kalakaran ng katiwalian at laganap na korupsyon sa ating lipunan. Bilang chairman ng Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, makakaasa po kayo na gagawin namin ang lahat ng amin pong makakaya para sa ikabubuti ng ating bansa at buhay ng sambayan ng Pilipinas. And as I said earlier, public office is a public trust. Either you are with government or you are against it. It's your choice. Are you with government? If so, let us renew our pledge of commitment and oath of honesty by signing the manifesto prepared by our department and yours for you. Sama-sama po nating labanan at puksain ang korupsyon para sa ikabubuti ng ating bayan at para sa kinabukasan ng ating mga anak. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Mga kasamahan at uh, kapwa ko empleyado ng gobyerno, alam ko pong mahirap itong ating pinag-uusapan at ating pinuubuan ngayon. Pero alam ko po 
na kung tayo ay magsasama-sama at magkakaisa sa tulong ng Diyos, magtatagumpay po tayo. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po, Chairman Greco, for that inspiring message. Also, we would like to acknowledge the presence of Undersecretary Conrado Laza. Magandang umaga po, sir. The fight against corruption would not be possible without the help and cooperation of various agencies of the government, like our partner for today's event, the DENR. With this, to give us his keynote speech, ladies and gentlemen, I give the floor to Secretary Roy A. Simatu. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, uh... Chairman uh, Greco, Kalkika, and I would like also to greet the other commissioners who are uh, with us this morning and the personnel of PACC. And uh, with me here, face to face, ako lang walang mask dito, they are all in mask. Uh, dito si Yusek Adobo, uh, the Yusek for anti-corruption, ASEC uh, is there, uh, or ASEC for uh, anti-corruption. Uh, with me also is Junior uh, uh, Garcia, the Yos another Yosek, Yosek, Ado uh, Yosek Jonas, and Yosek Benny Antiporda. Uh, there are about 180 now online uh, to join, joining us here this morning. And I'm sure yung mga sinasabi natin ngayon, including the, the message of uh, Chairman Greco, ay nakikinig sila. And I, re I am requiring them, directing them to put this occasion, this uh, manifesto, uh, uh, in their heart. Otherwise, sabi yung mga ni Sherman, eh kung hindi ka nasa gobyerno, eh dapat lumabas ka na. Uh, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources is privileged to join the growing list of national government agencies partnering with the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission in Project Kasangga Tokhang Laban sa Corruption. I remember we had also a similar signing ceremony during the time of Chairman Dante Jimenez here, face to face. And uh, I say late Chairman Dante Jimenez, may he rest in peace. And uh, the big difference now and before that, we are joined by our personnel down the line. Ito palang advantage ng Zoom. Ma Marireach out natin sila doon ngayon. Uh, there are about 180. How many? Oh, we are now 240 joining us now. And this 240, I think, probably this is a better way of reaching out to them compared to the face-to-face -face the last time we had this manifesto. Maganda itong naisip natin. O oh, maganda pagkakatawad kasi soming ngayon. So narinig nila, nakita nila si... Chairman Greco, and uh, I'm very happy that uh, uh, we are here now. Uh, in this uh, this is not only a ceremony. This is a commitment for the DNR to the PACC. The DNR, I repeat. The DNR is not among the agencies that are reputed to be hotbeds of corruption. 
we are rather one among the most transparent as exemplified by the JU tagging of our reforestation program and other projects, very transparent. We have been enjoying broad support in our programs and projects that require mass mobilization, such as cleanups, recycling, and tree planting. We have earned the trust and confidence of the public and we intend to preserve and build on this. Indeed, I believe that it is because of incorruptibility that many of our frontliners have been gunned down by illegal loggers, sacrificing their lives because of no compromise and other violators of our environmental laws and rules and regulations. In fact, my first marching order when I became the secretary is to hire lawyers for every senators down in the provinces. We had about 140 lawyers and these were my eyes and ears there. Young lawyers, newly graduated or newly passed the bar. And I am very sure that they are incorruptible. However, we do not claim to be perfect. Corruption has always or has ways of evading detection and prosecution. Because criminality has been evolving with technology. It is for this reason that we need and welcome partnership with the PACC as the specialist agency in the field of anti-corruption. We are one with the PACC. I repeat, we are one with the PACC in supporting our president, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's goal in ensuring transparency and accountability in the government. On this note, the DNR leadership will now be signing the Pledge of Cooperation and Oath of Honesty. This commitment will not be merely symbolic. It will be practiced with consistency from top to bottom throughout our department. To our personnel, 240 of you who are listening now by your Zoom, I am serious in this effort of the DNA. To the, to the officers down there also from uh, from the Reds, from the Pendros, from the Sandros, bring this message to our personnel. Bring this message to our 26,000 personnel. With that, uh, German Greco, at saka commissioners, maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayo lahat. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you very much, Secretary Simatu. Now we have arrived at the highlight of our event. I am inviting Mr. JD to guide us to the next power next part rather of our agenda. Yes, Attorney Nikki. At this point, we will have the actual taking of the oath of honesty led by Secretary Simatu himself. So for the oath taking, may we request the DENR to stand up and to raise your right hand for the oath taking. Okay, with me here in this uh, conference room. Yeah. 
with this uh, please raise your right hand and for those 240 down there stand up please raise your right hand as we say the anti-corruption manifesto we the government public service to the department of environment and natural resources Composing of the secretary, composing of the secretary, the secretaries, the secretaries, the secretaries, don't hear by pledge. Do hear by pledge. Abide by the president's call. Abide by the president's call. Without corruption in government. Without corruption in government. In cooperation with the presidential anti-corruption commission. In cooperation with the presidential anti-corruption commission. In the pursuit of good governance. In the pursuit of good governance. And public accountability. And public accountability. That in so doing. That in so doing. We have jointly. We have jointly. Wholeheartedly. We voluntarily commit ourselves. And voluntarily commit ourselves. Abide by the following. Abide by the following. Number one, to free ourselves of any involvement in any corruption activities. To free ourselves of any involvement in any corruption activities. Combat corruption in our respective offices. Combat corruption in our respective offices. Remain ever loyal to our oath of office. Remain ever loyal to our loyal to our oath of office. Support the PACC any corruption activities that comes to our knowledge. Report to the PACC corruption activities to our knowledge. For so government interest among above all others. For so government interest above all others. That we will pursue all with this without fear or favor. But we will pursue all this without fear or favor. Nor mental reservation or purpose of evasion. No mental reservation of evasion. Intentional failure or refusal on our part to fulfill our calumny or screen. Shall merit our voluntary resignation from office. Merit our voluntary resignation from office. The curse of our Lord be upon us, should we be not. And the curse of the Lord be upon us, should we be not. So help us, God. So help us, God. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. <laughs> to seal the pledge, please sign the manifesto. No,
Okay. All right, it is done. A big congratulations to us all. Let us immortalize this event by taking a picture. May we ask Secretary Simatu, Chairman Greco, and the DENR officials and employees to pose for a picture with your respective manifesto. Kindly raise your signed manifesto and look at the camera for a quick photo opportunity. Sir Gab, can you take over? Good morning, everyone. Once again, may I request all to turn on your cameras for a quick photo op. Please hold your manifesto below your chin right in front of the camera, please. Okay, thank you everyone. I now give back the give the floor back to Sir JD. All right. And now we move on to the second part of the program, the press briefing. A quick question and answer segment with Secretary Simatu, Chairman Belgica, and our friends from the media. Now, if our friends from the media have questions, please feel free to ask it through typing it in the chat box. But first, state your name, outlet, and to who the question is addressed. After reading my first initial questions, I will read them to whoever they are addressed to. Thank you. So question number one is for Secretary Simatu, sir. Okay, Secretary. So our first question comes from Angelito Shapko from Tugon, Balita. And his question reads, sir, May mga natatanggap po ba kayo na kaso ng katiwalian sa DENR? Uh, marahil po tayong natatanggap ng mga complaints sa ating uh, through the 888 hotline of the Office of the President and these are all promptly acted upon by our 888 personnel. Uh, we also have uh, been accepting complaints under oath, which are course to our legal office for appropriate fact-finding investigation and recommendation. For um, presidential appointees, which are referred to the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, some cases are referred to us for analysis and investigation and are being returned to the ACC, Office of the President, for final action. Okay, sir. We have a follow-up question and it reads, Kung meron naman, ano po ang maitutulong ng manifesto na ito upang masugpo ang katiwalian na ito? Uh, kagaya na nabangkit ng ating kagalang-galang sekretary kanina, uh, ito ay reaching out to our grassroots. So this is the chance for our personnel all the way to our grassroots to commit to the anti-corruption program of President Duterte. Unlike before, that we just convey to our the direction of the administration through memos and information dissemination, this time directly they are committing themselves to the anti-corruption initiatives of the president and the presidential anti-corruption commission. Okay po, marami pong salamat sir. Uh, ang susunod po nating tanong ay naka-address naman po kay Chairman Belica. Ito po ay nanggagaling kay Ramon Lazaro ng Philippine Star. Uh, Chairman, ito po ang tanong. Kamusta na ang pakikipag-ugnayan ng PACC sa mga nauna na ahensya na lumagda ng manifesto? Um, salamat po sa inyong tanong. Maganda po ang uh, ugnayan. We are now on the phase 2 and phase 3 of our um, program, yung uh, Project Kasanggato Kangos at Laman sa Corruption. And number two is the setting up of command groups and command centers sa kanila pong mga opisina from the highest to the lowest uh, level of their bureaucracy to serve as the uh, point group where and monitor and um, 
groups weapon can validate and act on uh, complaints being received by uh, PACC. And uh, that is within their jurisdiction. Um, phase three po is case filing. That's why you have seen the PACC in the uh, past few weeks that weekly we have been filing cases in the, with the office of the ombudsman and submitting our reports and recommendations to the president because um, it was because of this um, manifesto signing and uh, cooperation um, that the PACC has received uh, good and good cases and good information um, of high level and high ranking government officials. So in the remaining months of the president's term in office, sabi niya po sa akin prior to my appointment, appointment is pagtingin ang laban sa corruption. So one of our one of our um, goals is to file and finish invest finish investigations and file cases against high ranking government officials. And plus to say that between um, Secretary Simato and I, we have we have had a good working relationship together, even relationship together even before uh, when I was uh, only a commissioner. Talaga po nga nakikipag-cooperate na po si Secretary Simato. And nagpapasalamat po kami sa pagkakataon nito to strengthen that uh, working relationship and to push this forward uh, down to the lowest uh, bureaucracy of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Dahil napakalaki po ng um, impact ng uh, mga DNR projects sa ating pong bansa um, without mentioning any of them. So, kami salamat. Okay, sir. Thank you. Ang ating pangalawang tanong ay nanggagaling kay Erwin Bunag ng GMA News. At ito ay naka-address sa inyo ulit, Chairman. And it reads, May mga naiulat at naaksyonan na ba na katiwalian sa ilalim ng tokhang laban sa korupsyon? Marami na po. Um, as I've said, we've filed cases against uh, four high-ranking government officials in the last two weeks. Uh, one assistant secretary from the DPWH, one former director from the DNR, and one regional director from the DNR. And last week, um, one administrator or the administrator of the National Electrification Administration with the rank of the with the rank of undersecretary um, was filed with the office of the ombudsman and uh, with the office of the president. And um, gaya po sinabi ko kanina. Uh, with the Bureau of Customs and the Bureau of uh, Department of Public Works and Highways na nauna na po in BIR and the DOTR, LTO, and uh, uh, LTFRB dahil po sa tokhang na ginawa natin as a project kasangga na ginawa natin, dumami po ang mga nagkaroon kami ng mga mas maganda at bagong kaso na high impact and high value. Uh, we are expected to file again one more case this week and uh, hanggang 2020 na po yan, 2022 na po yan, ang amin pong inihanda mga kaso na ipapahil every week. So this is being done to in response to the President's call to intensify his fight against um, graft and corruption. And to really tell the public, um, you know, ang laban po sige sa corruption, laban po ng lahat yan. It's everybody's concern. So kami po dito sa gobyerno, ay maka-action lamang based on the quality of information is, um, that is sent to us. So, huwag po kayo manghihinawa na magpadala sa amin ng inyong mga reports at complaints. At kung natatagalan man ng aming investigasyon, ito po ay sa kadahilanan at pinagbubuti po talaga namin ang aming mga investigasyon na ibinibigay sa Pangulo at sinasampa sa hukuman na naakma dahil ayaw naman po namin na nagsasampala ng kaso just for the sake ang makapagsampan ng kaso pero pagdating naman po sa korte ay itatapon lang ito ng ombudsman dahil walang ebidensya o kulang ang proseso. So we want to build and we are trying to build airtight cases so that the culprit can really be held accountable to law and to the people. Thanks. Right, thank you, sir. Our next question comes from Val Cabrera of Mindanao News Express. Addressed to, again to you, sir, Chairman Greco. How can we assure the safety of those who report towards the PACC, sir? 
Um, that is a valid question. Number one, um, hindi ko namin inilalabas kung ayaw nila ang kanilang mga pangalan sa kanilang mga nire-reklamo. That, uh, that is the most basic safety precaution. Number two, kung sila man po ay lalabas, we can um, get the support of government through the um, witness protection program. At number three, uh, amin pong, uh, ang pinaka-suporta na bibigay po namin sa inyo at pangako na kami Ako at ang Pangulong Duterte ay kasama niyo po sa laban ito. Uh, mga kaibigan, naiintindihan ko po yung takot ang danger ng, uh, ng trabaho pong ito. Subalit, um, kung hindi po natin gagawin ang dapat natin gagawin, kawawa po ang ating bansa. Kawawa ang susunod na inerasyon dahil dahil talaga sa korupsyon. Kaya maraming mahirap sa Pilipinas, maraming mahihirap ang Pilipino, napakabagal ng development, hindi pumapasok ang hanap buhay. Dahil stifled or sakal na sakal because of um, corruption. So kailangan po talaga natin pagtulungan-tulungan to. At may tutulong po na ating mga kaubayan na nag-report na nasa private sector ay magsabi lang po ng informasyon. Ito po ang informasyon na ito ay pararatingin natin sa Pangulo at uh, kung ano man ay binibigay sa atin ng batas na option for now ay atin pong gagamitin. And uh, that's why in our um, roadmap, roadmap 2022, um, through our um, with our experience dito sa anti-corruption uh, body or office na ating pamahalaan ay naglahanda na rin po kami ng mga legislative proposals para sa Kongreso at Senado para palakasin ang laban sa korupsyon, pabilisin ang mga kaso, pag, um, um, proteksyon ng mga uh, whistleblowers or ng mga nag-report at um, commensurate penalties um be, be given against uh, the crime that has been or the corruption that has been committed. One of this is what we've always believed, just like in the many other countries, that um corruption should be penalized uh by death. And um this should be categorized as him. So this is something that Congress and the Senate should uh, can work on and we have uh, sent our proposals to this effect. At uh, kami po ay nakikipagtulungan sa inyo, um, gaya na sinabi ko, Secretary Simatos, all this and very cooperative, always at the forefront. And we've seen his commitment today, talagang mga sinabi po niya, akong binantayan at nakinggan, this is from the heart. And um, yun po ang maasahan niyo sa akin. Ha-actionan namin ang inyong marika. Thank you po, Chairman. And our next question is from John Patrick Nunez of UNTV. Address to Secretary Simatu. Sir, ilan po ang kuwani ng DENR ang lumagda ngayong araw? Well, we were able to uh, account uh, those who participated today. Uh, 240 of them signed. And kung i- i-translate nila ito sa kanilang respective offices, dadami pa mga ito. Um, ang target naman natin, lahat, lahat uh, ma-reach out natin lahat because ito ay very serious ito na manifesto na ginawa natin today. And uh, yun, na, 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 narinig naman, intindihan naman nila itong mga pinagsasabi namin kanina. So, 240 yun. Ah, uh, Siguro marami pang dagdag na humabol yun. Okay po, Secretary. Maraming salamat po. At ang susunod na tanong ni John Patrick ay para ulit sa inyo, Chairman. At ang tanong po na ito ay ilang ahensya na po ba ang lumagda sa Project Tokham? Um, ngayon po sa DNR ay anim na. Nauna po ang Bureau of Customs, sumunod ang uh, BIR, uh, DPWH, BIR, tapos DOTR. Um, and then DOH po and uh, all their attached agencies at ngayon po DNR. Um, sinumulan po namin sa apat, we identified based on the courts and um, intelligence na nakuha namin yung apat po high risk agencies, pinawag po namin big four high risk agencies. So natapos na po yun, kaya we are now proceeding with all other government uh, offices was um yung pinaka high risk na po ang nauna they volunteered themselves i mean DOTR plus DOTR volunteered himself 
Um, and now, nagpapasalamat kami na in the second phase, uh, BNR has um, come in the forefront of this commitment and to join us in the battle against corruption. Okay, Chairman. Sa inyo po ulit ang ating susunod na tanong galing kay Glenn Ray Roluna ng DXDD Osamis. Sir Greco Belica, ano po ang aasahan ng ating mga kababayan pagkatapos ng pirmahan ng manifesto with DENR? And other government agencies, may aabangan po ba tayo na masasampulan ng inyong bagong plataforma, sir? Opo, unang-una, you can expect a weekly filing of cases from the PACC um, of high-ranking government officials namin pong jurisdiction. Linggo-linggo po namin gagawin yan at ibibigay ang report sa Pangulo at ilalabas po sa mga pahayagan at media. Um, to really, really uh, prove uh, the strength and intensified campaign against corruption. Number two, because of this manifest signing po, ay nag-gagawa na po kami ng mga um, um, we will work with the DNR to set up command groups and command centers as I said earlier para ito po maging focal group and focal point um, group namin po um, from the national level down to the lowest bureaucracy na siya ang magmo-monitor, siya ang mag-validate ang information, na siya ang mag-resolve ng mga kaso within their jurisdiction uh, kung kakayanan nila. So balit kung hindi at kung hindi mapipigil, ito po ay hakit uh, namin sa amin at kami po ang mag-iimbestiga at gagawin po namin na aming trabaho which is to submit our report and recommendation to the President and file necessary cases at the appropriate time. Okay. Thank you again, Chairman. Um, since there are no more questions being chatted, um, I would like to say thank you, Secretary Simatu and Chairman Greco Bellica for your great and meaningful answers. Um, it is true that we should really be fighting corruption together and not independently. So with that, I give you back to Attorney Nikki Makalino. All right. And with that, we'll be concluding today's event. Thank you again, everyone who made this event possible, our chairman, commissioners, Secretary Simatu, and to all those in attendance from the DENR and the PACC. Thank you very much, um, DNR family. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Secretary Simatu. Sir, maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, suporta ito the DNR family and PACC. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless. God bless everyone. Thank you also, uh, Chairman uh, Greco. Maraming salamat. At saka yung brother mo, si Jeremy, uh, uh, sa Arta. Uh, saka father mo. Uh, regards na lang. Kaibigan ko yung father. Sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. God bless, sir. God bless. Ingat po lagi. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. God bless.